Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I am doing a book review and I am reviewing A Change Is Gonna Come by Jacqueline Thomas. This is going to be a relatively short review, I think. This is a Christian fiction novel. I think this is the third Christian fiction novel I have read by Jacqueline Thomas. Um, I started, I read my first one by her many, many years ago, uh, which I think was The Prodigal Husband. This story follows four women Cordelia, Bonnie, Tangi, and Sabrina. And they are completely different. Uh, one is extremely religious, like on the verge of pious religious, yet her home is a mess. Uh, one is a hoe with a heart. One is just a bitch who gossips all the time and tries to get into everybody's business while she got quite a mess of her own. And the other is uh, like the mother of the group who is attempting to or not attempting to get beyond the mourning stage in the, for, from the death of her husband. All uh, four of them have a faith base but on four different levels. Uh, some have been, a couple have been more in the faith more than the others and all of them have a situation occur where their faith is put to the test. My favorite characters in the book were two of the most minor characters in the book, uh, which I found very interesting. The character that was put forth as the main character I really didn't, I really didn't like. I did not feel any type of connection to her as a character. I didn't feel a connection to the hoe with the heart either, but I got her more than the other three women. Uh, and then the other character that I liked was one of their ex-husbands who I shouldn't have liked. If he was uh, somebody that I knew on a regular basis or in real life, I wouldn't like him, but I liked him in the story. I did not care for two of the four women. And I found that very interesting and that kind of made this, once I actually sat down to read it, it made it a quick read because I basically employed some speed reading to get through the sections about the characters that I didn't really have a care for just so that I could get to the ones that I, were in, that I was interested in. So yeah, I, I haven't rated this on Goodreads. I haven't even marked it as red yet on Goodreads. I think I'm going to give this maybe three out of four stars. I uh, have been reading Christian fiction for quite some time. This is probably one of my least favorite Christian fiction novels and I hate saying that because it's by an author that I do have a respect for. If you were interested in reading Christian fiction, I would not suggest starting with this with this novel because like I said, I had no connection to many of the major characters in the story to begin with. So I would suggest starting with someone else. Uh, if you want to know who, ask me in the comments below and I'll let you know. Um, but that's about all that I have to say for this book. I, I feel like this is a very sedated review because I really did put some, have to put some thought into ways to present the novel. It's, it's well written. Jacqueline Thomas is a, is a really good writer. It's not that the situations in the book were unrealistic or that it was written poorly. I just really did not have a care for some for many of the characters in the story. And a couple of the characters are dealing with things that I have had to deal with either personally or through relationship with someone else. So it's not like the things that are the things that go down in the book are things that were foreign to me or something that I never heard about or something that I didn't understand. All of the pieces were there. I just really didn't care about most of the characters in the story and the characters that I did care about were not really the major characters. So that's all that I have to say about that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I hope you all have a good week, weekend whenever you see this video. Peace out.